SK Gaming will have to pound through the double healer lineup um, of uh, existence. Uh, we saw, uh, sorry, we saw AAA actually do that successfully versus Pandemic, but the difference is, is that um, we have a warrior now for the team of existence who are in the top right of your screen, and in the top left is going to be SK Gaming from Europe. And uh, really going to make an impression here as they've missed a few tournaments and they're going to be really looking to kind of lock down a kill. Um, I mean, they're such a fantastic team and you can see Zom is going to be playing Mutilate. And well, I mean, what, what can we expect, Matt? Well, this is a game everyone's been waiting for. It's SK versus X6. It's two of the top European teams. They've both proven themselves at tournaments. And I really expect SK to take this. Yeah, so here we go then. Round one, following another out of the gates here on Blaze Edge. And, well, he goes straight up to the top. And you can see Existence doing the same thing they did last time, which is bunk up against the pillar uh, just over there. And you can see him throwing hots um, uh, and what not. And then let's follow then. Um, ooh, I didn't want to hit that button. Let's follow Zom as he opens up then onto Sila. Did get a sap off onto Falcon. Sila taking all sorts of damage. That was like a 3k crit came in from uh, what looked like to be Zom. And he goes straight into Cycl um, uh, Blade Storm. You can actually kill him in this position. But actually, he's going to use it offensively onto Zom because he knows he's Mutilate lining up for the intercept. In comes the intercept. Zom, though, back on full HP. Has evasion up. But he did take a, a mortal strike through that. And Zom then going to go onto uh, Falcon. There comes a poly onto Sila. He's going to be out of the poly. Another still spamming. Here comes a deep freeze as well. Here comes a holy fire also onto Falcon. And well, look at Solar just bunking up right at the uh, end there. Spamming constant heals onto Falcon. And he's in good set. Here comes another intercept onto the back of Zom. In actual fact, he's, he's well, that was really unlucky from Silo because he was actually feared and didn't manage to get onto the target. Uh, Penance looked like it was used offensively there as well. So Sila is the target once again. Is going to intervene away towards his priest who is sheeped. If Zom gets on him, they pop a blind on him to keep him in position. He's still got two-hander out. Finally goes shield. There's a shield wall though. He uses shield wall at 3k HP. And they need to know that they can't kill him through that. Even though they do try and do so. Oh really has no mana whatsoever. They need to switch. And Existence playing absolutely brilliantly. They should be able to lock down a kill. Oh really though is going to be drinking here on the left. Edge. This is dangerous for the team. And look at Falcon as he does drop over in the far distance and does go down. And Solar unable to keep him up as he actually was in a gouge. So that gouge from Zom got them the kill onto Falcon. Brilliant play. Great multi-target play from Zom. And oh, really making use of him and hope in that game. And he, even though the mana cost is pretty high on that channeled spell, he just sat down and drank because he was out of combat. Just so relaxed and making it look so effortless. Yeah, he did indeed. And uh, oh, really showing us some of uh, the pennants flying out there. Still, though, they are going to be playing on two against three. It is the semi-finals, and I don't blame them whatsoever. In comes a holy fire onto Solar. That's going to drop him low. That's going to drop him surely. Sits on 700. Whoa, wow, okay. He's almost invincible, that tree. Finally goes down. And it's a three on one. And here comes more penance. As, uh, here comes a mind blast. Shadow word death. And he is one dead cow. So there we go then.